Good day, everyone. Let me start this by formally introducing myself to you guys. I am Lloyd Duron. I'm currently 21 years old. And I'm a creative director, storyteller, and an award-winning filmmaker from the beautiful country of the Philippines. I truly have an extreme passion for filmmaking. I always love to create and share stories through the craft of making films. I know that this is going to be a little bit exciting and quite a nervous experience for me right now because this is going to be my first time to attend a summit like this one. It is my first time to be a part of the International Youth Media Summit. But I am still giving this a shot because I'm always keen to create new connections and gain new learnings out from this media summit. I'm just a simple, young, dream chaser from a small town in the Philippines. Pretty much my whole life right now only revolves around filmmaking and storytelling. But my story doesn't just start from there, nor end there. My love for making films didn't start not until I faced something big in my life. I started as a kid who got a wide curiosity towards how the lens of my mobile camera works. I thought I was just doing it as my pastime or my hobby. But eventually, came high school, I started to slowly grow my interest and love towards editing videos and making videos. I graduated and finished high school feeling undecided of what I really want to do in my life. So what I did was, I tried to apply for a scholarship to get into one of the best film schools in the Philippines. But guess what? I didn't pass the whole process. That really devastated me. I thought that it would define me as a failure. I thought that I was just a disappointment. I thought it would be the end of my dream. So what I did was, I decided to stop pursuing degree and forget about the university. I tried to create my own path having high hopes that it would work out. I started doing some freelance gigs online, editing videos for different businesses and entrepreneurs from different countries. It worked really well for me and have helped me to, to earn some money and slowly invest it into some camera gears I could use to build up my videography business. Fast forward to year 2019. I was still 18 years old at that time and something big will change my life forever. I created my first short film only with the use of my smartphone. A friend of mine sent me a link of a smartphone film festival contest he saw online. At first, I was still so hesitant to join because I was so afraid as I don't have any experience towards joining any film competition at all. But I know to myself that something was pushing me really hard to seek discomfort and give it a go. However, despite lacking of any experiences, I still pushed it through and submitted my entry. And few months later, literally out of nowhere, I received an email saying that my film entry was one of the few that get chosen to get an award in Wellington, New Zealand. It was surreal for me. I was so happy. I was literally jumping up. I got speechless. Even up until now, I still can't believe how did my five-minute short film entry impresses the jury. That literally boosted up my confidence and my entire filmmaking journey. It helped me achieve one of my biggest dreams in life. The whole film festival organizer funded and sponsored me to fly from the Philippines all the way to New Zealand to attend the week-long filmmaking workshop 
and to personally receive my award. What have happened in New Zealand have literally changed my life forever. Not only did I got to meet new connections, but I also learned a ton of knowledge. It has taught me to be way more confident in what I am doing. So, here it is. Let me show you the actual smartphone film I've made. The entire film is all about the theme of promoting the sustainability of our environment. It's not really that professional looking as you think it is, but this film has already gotten me to a few other film festivals abroad. So, enjoy. Life is so fragile, and yet it can begin in the wildest of places. It colonizes our lives and allows us to forget the barren landscape of our surroundings, if only for a bit. It stands out, proud and mighty, showing us that any small thing carries with it the power to alter an entire picture. The Alocasia is just one example of life, when unique to the Philippines. It is just another life, however, it carries with it the beauty and strength to spark a change. I am Alocasia, named after the plan of my country. 17 years ago, my mother chose this name for me, bestowing me with the values it represents. Values for impulsivity, for open-mindedness, and for responsibility. She believed wholeheartedly in a single philosophy, one that explains how every person is linked to nature, for we are all nature. And with that fact comes the duty we are forced to uphold, the duty to take care of our environment and to enjoy it. My town, St. Bernard, is one with the countryside. A river rushes alongside it, and children's laughter can be heard from miles as they play along its banks. Hills and mountains surround the area, kissing the clouds and inviting birds to touch their peaks. Trees are immeasurable, with this symphony of noise erupting for their each and every branch. And everyone within it thrives because of nature. However, life isn't what it used to be. As humanity grows, it brings a poison with it, one only we have the cure for. Humans wreak havoc to nature as if it's our worst enemy. As I have grown, I've watched the years slip away and my hometown crumbles along with it. The machine has caused insurmountable amounts of changes to the landscape. The fishermen yield smaller and smaller fish, now able to only bring home the bare minimum. The local farmers suffer yearly as their water sources are scraped clean. My neighbors search constantly for sustainable sources of water as the bustling population requires an increasingly high amount to survive. And I hear the complaints, the constant complaints, and know something must be changed, that the effects of the machine must be reversed, that the poison of man must be cured. It's easy to be ignorant, to look only towards the positive results and shove off the negatives. It's easy to destroy nature now and push off the problems of the future. But when do we draw the line? When do we force ourselves to make things hard? That time is now. Throughout the planet, the damages of humanity are being seen. Damages that are exponential. Ecosystems are collapsing. Species are becoming extinct. And the world is beginning to lose its color. We must spark change now so that we aren't too late. So that we can enjoy nature life forever. I am Alocasia. I'm human, and yet my name belongs to nature. But don't you see? We are all nature. We are all bound helplessly to our surroundings. And as we destroy it, we also destroy ourselves. This poison is curable only by us, and for some reason we choose not to use it, even as it cripples us. These changes, these effects, may be slow, yes, but they are growing. And someday they'll be irreversible. Someday we'll be lost. My mother named me Alocasia because of her beliefs, beliefs that I now share. Somebody has to spark the revolution to open our eyes to the simplicity of the cure. I'm that person. I carry the torch and you are the receiver. You, both human and plant, have the power to save the world. The Alocasia is but a single plant, just as you are only one person. But it only takes one. Change can be done by just one.
be that one. And watch as the world synergizes as we create a landscape resonating with life. And that was it. That particular film you just saw has also opened me lots of opportunities in my entire career. It helped me land some of the jobs I can't imagine I'll ever have. My entire filmmaking career has literally skyrocketed. I was way more inspired and motivated to improve and create more films. It truly ignited my passion. I've slowly built up my confidence and constantly working really hard to improve my skills. I've directed and created films after films, got invited to some events, competed to more international film festivals, and successfully registered my own video production company. All the success and achievements I have will never be possible without the massive support system I always get from my family and friends. And that's something I'll forever be grateful of. But what other people don't really know is that behind all the success they've seen lies all the hardships and downfalls I have to face. Rejections upon rejections, failures, never-ending disappointments, and I even have to undergo some major surgery that has given me another chance to live. But the struggle doesn't just end there. My great success comes with my mental health getting affected. That is how my piece within short film came into the whole story. Last year, I tried to submit my one-minute short film as an entry for the International Young Emmys Award competition. The entry should revolve around the theme of standing up for peace. It shows that to stand up for peace, it takes inner strength and determination. Allow me to take a minute and show you guys my one-minute long short film which tackles about mental health. Do you feel like there's no one beside you? Do you feel alone in your fight? Can you not find peace at night? Well, maybe the truth is there's really no one beside you and you are alone in your fight. But remember, you can still find peace at night. Because peace is freeing yourself from chaos. Sometimes it means being distant from everyone else. It means not pleasing people. Peace is being alone yet fighting. Peace is never universal without it being in every individual. But sometimes, you have to do it yourself. Do not wait for others to stand up for your peace. Raise your flag. Raise your peace. Unfortunately, that film entry was only part of the top 20 finalists for the Young Emmys Award 2020. But I'm still happy knowing that I got the chance to do my passion while sharing my voice and raising an awareness towards some relevant issues that is happening in our society nowadays. So, I think that's everything I've got for you today. And if there's something that I want to leave for you guys today, it's just pretty simple. Just keep doing you, always keep that passion burning, never stop sharing your stories to the world because stories are always meant to be shared. And yeah, thank you everyone for letting me share my story and to the whole committee and organizers for this Youth Media Summit, thank you so much for inviting me. I could not be more grateful for having this chance to be a part of something great like the IYMS. Thank you and see you all guys soon. Thank you.